My name is Ben Kessler. I was in the Marine Corps uh, from 2002 to 2006. Um, I was infantry, served in Afghanistan in 2004. I'm out here today because I don't want to see us starting a war in Syria. I'm Dr. Laura Presley and I'm out here for the rally against the war in Syria that President Obama has been proposing. Proper action for us to take is to help in a diplomatic process. Uh, I mean there's a lot of different options that don't involve bombing or sending troops to Syria and all of those options are better than the military options. This president needs to remember that he was awarded the Peace Prize his first term and that war is not peace. And yesterday I called Cornyn's office, Senator uh, Ted Cruz's office and Representative uh, Congressman Mike McCall's office and said they need to be taking a leadership role here in the state of Texas and hold President Obama accountable for this. The U.S. Is, can never be a force for good in intervening throughout the world, especially in the Middle East. Uh, and and it, it, this seems to be a transparent attempt by the U.S. to put in someone friendly to serve as a bulwark against the Arab revolutions that have been going on since really 2011. It's coming out in the mainstream press, let alone the alternative media, that these <laughs> rebels that were supposedly supporting are in fact Al-Qaeda and it's the rebels that are launching the chemical weapons, which is supposedly the justification that why we're going in the first place. It's the rebels and not the Assad regime that have launched chemical weapons. Yesterday, the United States presented a powerful case that the Syrian government was responsible for this attack on its own people. Our intelligence shows the Assad regime and its forces preparing to use chemical weapons, launching rockets, in the highly populated suburbs of Damascus and acknowledging that a chemical weapons attack took place. They have no evidence. There's nothing. I've, all I've heard is um, trying to put blame on them and absolutely no hard facts. So I'm not buying it. All the just wars that we've been having lately, Afghanistan, Iraq, and I mean, there is a little thing, well it's not little, but there is a thing going on in Syria of them hurting their own people, but that doesn't mean America has to just come and meddle with it. I mean, we're always like just minding other people's business, like we're always getting into other people's business, and that's probably why we get into so many wars, and I think if we just mind our own business, then this world would just be so much of a better place. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent, privately and publicly, looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it. They can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse, but demand a war. Right now. Out of another one, another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind the movie at InfoWars.com. And remember, every order at InfoWarsStore.com receives a free citizen rulebook.